Good morning, good morning. Powers of numbers, the powers of numbers. Um, some people, strangely enough, can get this um, rather confused. Uh, quite simple, really. it's uncomplicated for you. If we've got um, three squared, some people think that might just mean three times two and they give the answer of six. Um, wrong. Three squared doesn't mean three times two. I'll show you what it means now, so let's get rid of that. So three squared actually means three times three. Now this power here, this, this two up in the air, actually means that you multiply um, the three by itself. And can you see there are two threes actually written here, but with a multiply sign between them. And the reason for the, there are two threes is because of that number two up there. So three times three uh, then gives us an answer of nine. Okay, if we're looking then at four cubed, in other words, that's that three there's a four, it's not going to be four times three, which is 12, in the same way that we crossed out that answer above. Four cubed is going to be four, another four, and another four. So I've got three fours all together, each with a multiplication sign in between. So I'm going to do four times four times four. Now four fours are 16, let's make a little note of it there. But then I've got to do 16 times 4, and 16 times 4 comes out to 64. So uh, 4 times 4 times 4, 4 cubed, is 64. We might actually get a sum asking us to work out what 4 cubed plus 3 squared is. Now we've done the, the legwork here. So 4 cubed is actually 64, as we worked out. And then the 3 cubed is 9, add the 9, and that will give an answer of 73. So if you were to get a sum, like 4 cubed plus um, 3 squared, you'd work out what the individual parts of it are first of all, your 9 and your 64, and then you'd add them together. In the same way, I could just do it quickly, if we had 4 cubed take away 3 squared, I'd just simply do 64 take away 9, got the answers up there, and then that will give me an answer then of 55. So um, either way those works. So those are um, how you sort of manipulate squares and cubes. Um, just to um, consolidate a little bit, if we've got 5 raised to 4, remember I've got to write 4 lots of 5, so 4, uh, five, 5 there. So that's 5 raised to the power of 4. Put a multiplication sign between each one. So, I'm going to do 5 times 5, 5 fives, 25. Then I'm going to do 25 times 5, keep going along my line. 25 fives are 125. And then I'm going to do 125 times 5 to finish it off, which gives me a grand total then of 625. So remember, 5 raised to the power of 4, 5 once, times 5 twice, times 5 three times, times 5. 4 times 5 to the 4 gives us 625. Finally, we'll just do 2 times, oh, 2, sorry, raised to the power of 5. So, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5 there. Let's put our multiplication signs in. So, here we have um, see how we go as we go along here. So, 2, 2s, 4. 4, 2s, 8. 8, 2, 16. 16 twos at the end gives us 32. So two raised to the power of five gives us 32. So there's an introduction um, of how powers work, doing a, uh, working them out and doing a couple of simpler sums with them.